Tonight, newly released video of Ole Miss student Allie Costell the night before she was found dead. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Richard Ransom. Katina has the night off. A preliminary autopsy report confirms she died from multiple gunshot wounds. The suspect charged in the case is her own classmate, 22-year-old Brandon Thiesfeld. Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher spoke with a friend who grew up with the victim. Oxford police have released footage of victim Allie Costo leaving this bar here at the Oxford Square. It was the last time she was seen before her body was found near a Lafayette County lake. Now, close friends are grappling with why someone would want to take the life of such a vibrant and outgoing young woman. It's been four days since the body of 21-year-old Ali Costa was found near Sardis Lake in Mississippi. Oxford police released this surveillance video of the victim leaving Funky's bar at the Oxford Square the night before she died. She leaves the bar and gets into this Uber. I was absolutely shocked because this girl, she had her whole life ahead of her. She was going to be very successful someday, and unfortunately, that was cut way too short for her. On Monday, Mississippi authorities arrested fellow Ole Miss business student Brandon Thiesfeld in Memphis. He was charged with murder in her death. Investigator Alan Wilburn provided little details today in the investigation. No bond hearing today. No bond hearing. The victim was an Alpha Phi sorority member. I spoke with the victim's close friend since third grade. If I was just going through a hard day or if I was just dealing with a lot of issues, Allie and her friend would be willing to sit down and just talk to me about it. They they were always there if I needed something. For Claudia Swires, Costell's memory will live on. We will not forget her, and they'll remember, people from Lindbergh will remember, hey, that's the girl who would always help me out if I was in a difficult time, and she'd be willing to sit there and listen. And a visual is planned for tomorrow evening to honor Costell in her hometown of St. Louis, Missouri, at her high school. Meanwhile, well-known defense attorney Stephen Faris and fellow defense attorney Tony Faris say they will represent the suspect, Mr. Thiesfeld. No bond hearing date has been determined. Reporting in Oxford, Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News.